everyone i'm back with another video and in today's video we have a dell inspiron 7380 or the exact model name is an p83g002 and in this video i'm gonna take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace the battery on your laptop if yours is not holding on anymore charge you simply want to remove it this video is for you just remember by replacing the battery you're not going to change anything in the system everything's going to be the same way that you left it so let's get into it at the end of the video i will give you a tip on how to keep the battery held at best shape possible and you should be doing that once every few months and very importantly to do it once you get the new battery installed all right first thing first power off the laptop completely and flip it upside down i'm gonna go over the tool that i'll be using uh the good tool that i really recommend is the ipx screwdriver set i got the basic set and they're kind of expensive but they're really good bits they will last you many years we're going to use a phillips number one if you get the pro set they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers if not for the opening tool i'll be using a guitar pick and metallic guitar picks are still good to opening cases and covers all right with this on our hand we're gonna start on the screen there's a whole bunch of screws all the screws are the same size and height so start from one corner and remove the screws all the screws should come out except the one in the back this one you just have to loosen up and it will stay right there all right go ahead and loosen up all the screws and keep them in one pile also if you guys like my videos if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe i'll greatly appreciate it it helps and motivates me to make more videos take requests and answer your questions in the comment area i appreciate that all right now that we removed all the screws and this last one here i'm just gonna rotate until like a few turns and that's it now we're gonna grab ourselves the opening tools i'll start from the front end we're gonna stick it between the palm rest and the bottom cover just like in there just like that now i'm just gonna twist it backward and you're gonna hear those snapping things those are the clips are getting loose you want to do that once every one centimeters or just do it as you wish move around do all around in the front end now we got that open we're gonna do the side in here i only stick about two or three millimeter you don't need to stick the whole guitar pick in there once you get to the back corner now you want to do the back side in here too so i don't know if i didn't show it i'll see the right in there and now i can just lift it up bring it up and that's it towards the usb port so don't lift it up from the hdmi port side otherwise you're going to hook it right and or break the hdmi port just lift it up and right here we got the battery right in front of you with this tape right on top there we go as you can see this is a 38 watt hour 11.4 uh, volt the battery model is an f62g0 i'll try to get the link for this one i'll leave it in the video description in case you want to purchase yours all right to disconnect this one first we're gonna remove the four screws one two three four screws that hold the battery in place so go ahead and remove these four screws the screws again they are the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching them again and the battery for the BIOS, if you guys keep asking me, that's the one over here. It has a lot of adhesive. You just have to peel off the adhesive underneath. And there we go, the tiny adhesive. And then just pull the jack out and replace it. There we go. All right, now we're going to lift up this one here. I'm going to use a tweezer to untangle this speaker cable that goes all around zigzagging around the battery. So we're going to lift up the battery and bring it to this offset position now once we have this offset position right here now we can gently grab this that's why they lift this uh, flip thing right in here you can grab it and pull it towards the battery and it will release the connector now once you get the new battery it doesn't come with this cable right in here you have to peel this one up grab it really closely to the jack and pull it backward so the battery will only come like this this is a one two three cell battery once you get the new one in make sure you grab this connector you can see the red cables are in this side and the white cable black ones are over this side you want to put it in one direction only goes in so slide it in there all the way in and then put a, this is called a gaffer's tape you can purchase and put gaffer's tape if you want 
Once you have it in there, you want to leave it in, in 45 degree angle, just in this angle, so you have a better chance to work. Now you want to push the connector in inside the jack evenly, and you just want to pinch them in there. Just grab them and pinch them, make sure this white plastic goes all the way inside this gray jack. Now you can bring it down, grab this cable right in here, align it right there, and zigzag down this cable back up, the audio cable for the speakers, and leave them there. Put the four screws for the battery. Now that we got those one in there, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, bring it over straight. But what I'd like to do is to bring it in 45 degree first, scoop in the HDMI port and the USB-C right there, and then let go of the other side, and then push down the front end, make sure you don't nice big click sound. Yeah. Then it start tightening up the screw at the back and then just put the rest of the screw in place. If you uh, see any gap opening, you just want to pinch them together and it will just snap back to its place, the covers. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Now, regarding the first uh, boot up, you don't want to boot it up right away. You don't want to turn on the laptop right away. You want to leave it off and connect the charger and leave it charging at least for three to four hours. After three to four hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger plugged in, and you want to discharge the battery just by putting brightness down to 50%. You want to discharge it slowly. Once the charger of the battery is down to 30, 20%, you want to power it off and connect the charger while it's off and leave it again for another four to five, three to four hours. And after that, you can just power it on and use it as you wish. That initial charge and discharge, it is very important for the new battery. And you should be doing that once every couple of months. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching.